Hello, hello, and welcome to my kitchen in Ireland. This is Paula Manny. Just gonna have a cup of tea before going to sleep. Felix, hello. It's a uh, thank you for coming. Good to see you. Too. Very good to see you. Hi, Pippi. And Fireman Rich, that's Rich Roberts from New York. How lovely. I am up a bit late. And Robin Milne from California. Pippi, it is, um, what is it, nearly midnight in Ireland. Robin Milne from California, you, my great friend, my great friend who I am in audio contact with very frequently. There's a bug on the wall behind me. Oh, thank you, Adele. Thank you very much. Um, Rich, Rich Roberts, meet Robin Milne, New York to California. I know. I know it's what time it is. Yeah, I just thought I'd say hello, have a cup of tea. It was, uh, it was okay. It, actually, it had a big highlight. My, uh, my weekend. My weekend had a huge, uh, a caban. Hello. Ireland won a rugby match. I'm very well. You're right in the middle, Kansas. Kansas, wow. That's where my nephew's wife's family is from, Kansas. Rich, I was just saying to Robin that you and I go back a long time. Have I been resting any any good poetry? Well I I I haven't. I haven't read any um, poetry on Periscope for ages. There are good football games today in the National Football League. Oh, right. Pippi, you love Irish. You love uh, rugby. It was a huge thing. Ireland beat the All Blacks this weekend. Read some Billy Collins. I don't even know who Billy Collins is. Thomas, it's good in, well, it was good in Cork when there was light. I was fine. I was in the city yesterday afternoon, walking around. Had a nice time there. Weather was fine. I love Billy Collins. You say Billy Collins. I, I will write the name down. No, Croatia were beaten by England. Yeah. Billy Collins, right. I have a... Um, you have grandparents from County Tyrone. Wow. Billy Collins was American Port Laureate. Right. Well, I don't... I don't know all the American Port Laureate. How long do you stay Port, Port Laureate in, um, in America? And he has a good sense of humor. Fabulously and devastatingly simple. Oh, that's quite a powerful. I'm just writing Billy Collins down here. I've got a, just one year. Oh, wow. Who decides who will be Poet Laureate in the United States? Oh, I see. He was Poet Laureate from 2001 to 2003. <laughs> Convention of Poets, yeah. He retired in 2016 from his position in Lehman college in the City University of New York after teaching for 50 years there. Wow. Yeah. He's uh, 
77 years old. Many poets have lived a lot longer than that, but I must read some of his poetry. Yeah, I am. I know Wallace Stevens in the sense that I've read poetry by Wallace Stevens. He was dubbed apparently um, Billy Collins. Abby, hello. Hey, hello. You send me some links, Robin. Well, he was dubbed the most um, popular poet in America by some guy in the New York Times. Ah, the Poet Laureate. Hey, Victorious is appointed annually by the Librarian of Congress. Oh, right. He's famous for conversational, witty poems that welcomes readers with humour but often slip into quirky, tender or profound observation on the everyday reading and writing and poetry itself, right? Cork, Cork Grass, hello. Oh, by the way, I should just show you. Puma, come here. Come here, hey, come here. Say hello to the people, right? He's in the same vein as Whitman, wow. Come here. Hmm? Come here. Hmm? Say hello to the people. Hmm? Come here. Hmm? You just say hello. Yeah. That's better, yeah. Come on. Okay. All right, Puma. Puma used to appear very frequently. When I used to do a lot of periscopes, Puma would appear. He would usually appear in the middle of a poetry reading. And um, we now have a cat. we now have a dog. We now have a dog over there in the corner. Is this is Louis? Puma, P-U-M-A, yeah. He looks, of course, you have many, many cats, Rich. Oh, that's it, Louis. Louis is nearly four. Louis will be four in February. Hiroshima, hello. Signature, how do you do? Yeah, Louis is... It's uh, time for him to go to sleep in very soon. He just... Um, I don't know what's up with him. He's a little uncomfortable or something. Hey, Leonard, hello. El Breton, good evening. Leonard, good to see you. Very good to see you. Well, I'm well. I'm a bit tired, actually. I am a bit tired. Uh, do either pet climb up in your bed at times to sleep? The cat sleeps on the bed during the day. The dog isn't allowed anywhere near the bedrooms. The dog is allowed, the dog sleeps outside um, bedrooms. Um, he just, um, he just lies down on the stairs. As you would be at 11 p.m. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually eight minutes before midnight. You, you have to credit me for introducing you to the world of soft boiled eggs. Yes. Ah, oh, that was a bit of an experience, really. Oh, this is Rich's cat. Dora likes to meow. 
during the audio you do in the morning. Rich does audio at about half past five in the morning, his time. Uh, while sitting sometimes, maybe not now, but on the porch outside. Ah, the soft boiled egg and toast is one of life's small pleasures. Tell me, what's the weather like in in California, Robin? How bad is the air in California? If, are you still there? Um, I was just wondering, it, California surviving, yeah. You wear a mask, yeah. One of those ones that covers you here? Yeah, Could, as many as 500 dead, God. The only figure we've got in Ireland is small, it's probably about 90 people, but there there were 1,100 people missing, I think, is the 1,300 missing, 79 dead. Oh, yeah. It's um, horrific. I am um, a campfire, Northern California. Yeah, you don't want to imagine 1,300 people dead. Nobody does, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is the old Klimt mug, yeah. It's true. Is there anybody here who particularly likes the the work of Klimt? Who likes the work of the artist who does this? No, it's... Uh, you haven't heard 500, you heard... From... Yeah. You knew a girl, Leonard, who liked... Who liked <laughs> Klimt. You like Klimt, Robin. You, you love Klimt, right? Excuse me now, the night hiker is here. Ah, welcome. Welcome. Clintia. Marcus. Hello, Marcus. Work, somebody who is working the fire lines for the wild land fires. What what did you say? Um, signature was in your in your top twenty. I'm doing well, Marcus. I'm I'm tired. I think I'm just you know in a few minutes I'm just going to go to sleep. But other than that, I'm in I'm very well. I have to say, very well. Oh, the trip to Paris. Oh. Klimt is in your top 20 painters. Well, that's really interesting. But that, that's a good one. That would be fun to do, to um, even say, name your top five painters. Um, if anyone would like to chip in any of your favorite painters, do. Do. You're going to be in CUH on Thursday. Ah, Vermeer. Oh, there's a god. Vermeer is a... Uh, Diebenkorn. Diebenkorn, right. Per Kirk's Kirkby. House painters. Thomas Hartbrecht. Hey, R Raphael Monet. Vermeer, God, Vermeer is phenomenal, yeah. Does anybody here know the work of Paul Clay? Anybody know Paul Clay, K-L-E-E? -E? He, he's be one of my favorites. Kirk Levy sounds like, yeah, K-L-E-E. -E. See, see what you think of Paul Clay, K-L-E-E. -E. You're a bit into Cezanne. 
wouldn't blame you really. You know Clay, signature, you know Clay, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Miro, now there's another goodie. Ah, Jan Hus. Yeah. I'm uh, very partial to the paintings of Robin Milne. Yes, she's an up-and-coming uh, painter in in California, Robin Milne. Look up her website. See, um, see what you think, David Park. Oh, yeah, Robin Milne, M I L N E. Yeah, look up. M-I-L-N-E, uh, two B's in Robin. You have a lot of art from students from Kansas City Art Institute. Hippie, wow, yeah. Minami, for Japanese etching artist. Wow. I am... Um, I'm ever so pleased about all these names being mentioned because several of several of you have mentioned uh, painters I've never heard of. So I'll have... Who's behind me? Who's behind me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this... Um, this work is by a friend of mine, a good uh, friend of mine, who, uh, it's, uh, it's digital art. It's not a painting. It's a digital print. Uh, you work uh, with a co-worker who does paintings, Bob Ross Way. Oh, they have a sale, right. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Andrew. Hello. Wait a minute now. I'm trying to... Uh, there we are. There we are. Carlo. Hey. Welcome, Andrew Lowe from Artorical. Wonderful, wonderful man to have on it, on this Periscope, Andrew and I, we we meet uh, well. I'm very I'm very lucky to still be in touch with you, Andrew. Someday we're going to have coffee together. Wonderful man. That's it. That's it. You you'd get on well actually. Um, Andrew and Robin, you would really um, get on well. In fact, it wouldn't it would surprise me if Andrew hadn't even come across you before, because Andrew listens on lemur sometimes. Well, I think. You're made, oh yeah, okay. You're probably some 13 year old child who's practicing your English, I'd imagine. But anyway, you think we're connected there, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Robin, um, uh, Andrew, Artorical uh, uh, has made um, one or two. Um, go on, I'm, I'm getting. I can hardly string words together. One or two casts there on Lima. It's lovely. So, listening to the song about, just listen to the song about the dating meet up in Ireland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're just a little bit too. Listening to the song about the dating meet up, right. Guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'd love to stay, but I won't because I need to get lying down. I need to, I need to get horizontal rather than vertical. 
and um, so I'm going to say um, yeah. I I will it's uh, yeah it's just a bit late so look thank you for your company I'm delighted goodbye Robin victorious one Artorico, God, whose names am I going to remember? Um, I'm going to remember a signature in Hiroshima, Fireman Rich in New York, Dialoguer, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much. And um, until the next time, I'm going to do a good deal of periscoping next weekend. Thank you very much, yeah. All the best, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.